Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Okay, uh, we're in a GE uh, single wall oven um, and the complaint is that there's a uh, noise from one of the fan motors. So we're just going to go ahead and turn the unit on. Obviously we can hear the noise immediately. So I'm going to power it down. I'm going to access into the control here where the fan motor is uh, to get a better look at it and see what exactly is going on. Uh, this repair requires a quarter inch bit or a quarter inch driver, a number two Phillips bit in my drill or a number two Phillips screwdriver and I ended up using a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I can see there are two Phillips screws on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. see if it wants to come off. Nope, not yet. So we have some screws that go from the underneath down here. Uh, there's a couple quarter inch screws, so we're going to go ahead and remove those now. Alright, now those are off. So now we can grasp our console and Gently pull it forward. We still do have our wires connected here, so we can't remove it all the way. So we have two fan motors in here. Now we're just going to find out which one it is that's uh, uh, causing up uh, causing our problem by turning the unit on. Okay, so now that we have this open here, I'm going to go ahead and power the unit up again by just hitting bake and start. And I can hear it's this fan here. The other fan isn't even moving yet, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And what I'm going to try to do is just try to adjust the fan blade. A lot of times they'll just walk their way down to where it hits something. So I'm going to try to slide it back up on the shaft there um, and then uh, see if it functions okay. And if it does, then we can just have the customer monitor. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to use my screwdriver and basically just pry it up. Maybe have gone a little too high there. All right, so it's up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see if we still have the same noise. Right, nice and quiet like it should be so uh, what we'll do is we'll have the customer just monitor the unit if the noise comes back then we know we'll probably have to uh, you know replace the uh, fan blade on here okay now that we've uh, eliminated the fan noise we're just going to go ahead and reassemble um, all right so we got that we have the two screws in the bottom and the two at the top Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.